If you had to guess what the common theme, the Diane Feinsteins and the, the Kamala Harris's and all of these people, if you had to guess, what would you say? I'm going to spare you the suspense. I'm not even going to go through the chat and see what's happening, right? I see Return of Wilderness in the chat. He said, rich people shouldn't marry too much risk. That's because you're operating with a duress mindset and you don't understand the game. Y'all all playing the game. But you playing the wrong game. You playing Street Fighter and you're supposed to be playing Call of Duty. It's not trust. Nope, it's not trust. It's not none of that. That's not it. That's not it. To keep wealth, nah. It's a word. Somebody said a word in there. Somebody said they white. Nope. That's not it. They all marrying for the right thing, for power. They're all marrying for power. That's the first thing. Somebody got it half right. The second thing is this. The second thing is this. They all basic. They're all basic. The women are basic. The men are basic. Everybody is basic. Women are not marrying based off a of six pack, six, six figures, uh, six inch, whatever, so on and so forth. The women are not picking a man based off of that. The men are not picking a woman based off of the age and whether or not she's sexy and submissive or any of that type of stuff. They're not having those type of conversations at all. Look at the optics and look at the successes, not only of just the marriages, but how it is that they're able to leverage their relationships in order to become more powerful and more successful as a result of it. Look at the Dianne Feinstein. Listen, she was a legislator in, in the Senate that operated and died as a senator all the way up in, into her 90s, a policymaker, but also on top of that, she had a husband that was on Wall Street that made a ton of more money as a result of being married to her. And she was basic. You think that he chose her based off of her youth or what she looked like or how submissive that she was? Don't worry, I'm going to tie it all in for y'all. This is going to be a masterclass for you so that you can start to pay attention to what it is that people are doing successfully and you can stop operating under this simple Neanderthal mindset that allows for you to continue to be in the same perpetual state that you were, having the same conversations that you were yesterday, and maybe you can level up as a result of it. Every single one of these chicks' wives or these dudes' wives are normal and basic. They don't look at marriage and relationships from the same perspective as you do, the same way that they don't look at finances, resources, what's happening in America, policy, how they vote, who it is that they network with, the same way that you do. They don't look at anything like you do. They don't look at marriage, they don't look at power, they don't look at relationships. And you know what's so funny? I was looking at a, a live stream that Ben Shapiro did. Not a live stream, but a video that Ben Shapiro did, right? And Ben Shapiro was having a conversation talking about and he was arguing in favor of marriage. But it wasn't that he was right or that he was wrong because if you look at it from the optics of how it is that we look at relationships and the things that's being communicated across social media, Ben Shapiro can never relate to you. You know why? Because Ben Shapiro comes from a background in which he's looking at the power structure and relationships as he continues to level up in the, in the structure of marriage of how it is that it plays a role in his greatness. The father of the bride that he married was incredibly successful. Her net worth was incredibly out of this world. His net worth ultimately exploded also as a result of it. Do you think that Ben Shapiro was looking at his wife to determine or his future wife to determine whether or not she was youthful and submissive? Or do you think that these people have a completely different mindset as to what it is that they look at as successful? And for some reason, they're able to stay successfully married and leverage their relationships 
and the people that surround them in order to continue to grow and become more successful. Why would he look at it from the same perspective as you? Why would he understand the red pill from the same perspective as you? Because he's not going to face the same problems as you because he's approaching it from a completely different perspective. It's about power. It ain't about sense of duty. It ain't about how youthful she is. It ain't about sex. You never hear this stuff come up. When you look at these senators, when you look at these people that are married, when you look at, look at their business partners, your business partner is the person, your number one business partner is the person that you lay next to more often than anything else. Do you ever see them have a conversation about sex? Do you ever see them have a conversation about the sexual marketplace value? When you see these people, you don't even see them in the same view or purview as you see your favorite entertainer. You're not looking at them the same way that you're looking at me along and all of them. You're not looking at them the same way that you're looking at Cardi B and all of them type of people. You're having a completely different conversation. They're talking about real estate. They're talking about power plays. They're talking about leveraging your network and leveraging who it is that you are. they putting their wives in a position to become the senators, the Congress people, vice presidents, being able to have an important impact and who it is that they're they're a part of their wives then work for certain legislators that then influence what's going on in your economy and everything like that and guess what every last one of these congress members senate members a uh, house of representatives they all wind up becoming super rich by the time that they die every last one of their portfolios you can't miss you can't miss you can shoot at any last one of them by the time that they get out of office all of them will be incredibly wealthy, incredibly wealthy. Do you think that that's a coincidence? You think that they all just manage their portfolios better than you do? You think that they smarter than you are? No, they're wiser as far as how it is that they're approaching their relationships, including the people that they marry. They basic, they normal, they don't cause a fuss, they're not asking for a whole lot of uh, visibility. They're playing their role, they're leveraging their relationships, they're taking care of business, and they're operating out of an abundance mindset because marriage is for rich people and poor people. Now, I'm going to slice this a mul multitude of different ways because I'm just going to use that as the first example because y'all really not paying attention. We having the wrong conversations, we're teaching the wrong things, and we're really not slicing this thing out the way that it needs to be communicated. And so when we have these conversations, a lot of times they're in a vacuum or they're in echo chamber and they're saying the same things over and over again and everybody is still in everybody else's talking points because nobody really understands and they're not paying attention and they're looking at it the same way as everybody else is looking at it. And so these are the things, these are the things that the Ben Shapiro's are not telling you. They will have the conversations about who it is that they support for president or whether or not Biden is stumbling up the stairs or this or that or so on and so forth. But they are not giving you the true, the true gems as to how it is that they really picked their spouse.